Are you looking for some best JRPGs for your Steam Deck? Then this video is for you. Because in this video I am going to show you the 10 best JRPGs that you should play on your Steam Deck. So without wasting any more time let's start this video. The first game on our list is Persona 4 Golden. Persona 4 Golden is one of my all-time favorite video games. It was my first experience with Atlas and a fantastic JRPG in and of itself. Persona 4 Golden evolved from being one of the finest PS Vita games to one of the best games on Steam by including social connections, dungeon delving, lovely characters, some unpleasant ones, and a top-tier soundtrack. It was just confirmed by Valve on Steam Deck as well. Next up we have 8 Lear Ryza 2. The 8 Lear series has been offering calm turn-based RPGs for a long time, but the newer entries have been fantastic for newbies with quality of life upgrades, upgraded aesthetics, and the series' trademark charm. 8 Lear Ryza 2, despite the number in the title, is a great entry point into the series' world of 8 Lear Ryza games. As an essential for any lover of the genre, 8 Lear Ryza 2 incorporates crafting, collecting, tactical fighting, and exploration in a seamless manner. Next up we have Yakuza Like a Dragon. Yakuza Like a Dragon is a great JRPG if you're looking for something a little different from the usual fare. In addition to Ikebin's talents as a protagonist, the rest of the ensemble contributes greatly. A refresh rate upgrade is on the way for Steam Deck and it seems like it will improve performance even more for Yakuza Like a Dragon. Using Steam Deck, Valve has confirmed this information. Next up we have Neptunia x Senran Kagura Ninja Wars. Hack and slash RPG Neptunia and Senran Kagwa join forces with one of the game's 10 playable characters to slash through swarms of enemies, channel the elements, and unleash character-specific attacks. To prepare for Yomi training, play the Peaches and Cream Meditation minigame and then return to your center with the final challenge. Next up we have Symphony of War the Nephilim Saga. If you've ever wanted to see Fire Emblem with army troops in a fantasy setting, then Symphony of War is the game for you. Of course, this is a far more challenging game, with gameplay that is reminiscent of classics like Ogre Battle. Symphony of War's mechanics has a lot to say. All characters in your army are under the command of a leader unit, which may have up to nine soldiers in it at a time. Next up we have Ayudan Chronicle Rising. It shines in a variety of ways that aren't related to the plot. The two, 5D style of games like Octopath Traveler, and triangle strategy is evident in the graphics. It's crisp and distinct, but rough enough to seem a touch antique. After a stunning assault or in mid-swing, it looks very fantastic. Combat is simple and quick to take up, but when you get it down, it's really rewarding. Next up we have Rise of the Third Power. Join a group of eight people, each with a different goal, viewpoint, and personality, on a suicide mission to overthrow the Arcadian Emperor, Dmitry Noriskov. Those that brave the perilous realm of Rin may expect a mixture of comedy, drama, and tragedy along the way. Next up we have Kamikaze Kamati Aoka 2. This is a turn-based RPG in an old-school manner. Kamikaze Aoka is called in to cope with a rise in crime in the Denmura area. She decides to take on the wandering gangs and restore order to the area after seeing how awful things have gone. Next up we have Alliance Alive HD Remastered. There is a fantastic PC version available via Steam Deck, and it works like a dream. Revisiting it on Steam and Nintendo after playing it on 3DS has been fun. It's a classic JRPG that's been given a contemporary makeover in the form of Alliance Alive HD Remastered. It has Masashi Hamazu penned music, stunning graphics, and an intriguing set of gameplay elements. Number 10 we have Evening Starter. Sweeper Ren Nasogi is a self-employed sweeper who specializes in dealing with the paranormal. Ren is investigating a string of disappearances when she is involved in an event that leaves her deeply in debt. As she tries to figure out a method to pay it off, she gets a special request to investigate and take down a terrible cult. So that's the list of 10 best JRPGs for Steam Deck that you should try. Your support is much appreciated if you like the video and want to see more from GamesPuff.